Well hello, it's the end of 2013 and uh, I thought I'd just show you how you can build your own scanner. I'm not very good at spelling but uh, I might be able to show you how to make something. I um, decided a little while ago that uh, I was going to make the world's cheapest scanner and uh, I'll show you some bits actually that I made it out of. First of all I've got one of these uh, little heat sinks, you can get them off of eBay. Uh, you can put up to 10 watts on here, they've got a little fan in the back, runs at 12 volts. Um, and these are little 10 watts, uh, well they're kind of 9 watt actually, they're 3 watts, 3 watts red, 3 watts green, 3 watts blue. Uh, little LEDs, and these need to be mounted onto, onto here. Uh, and they need to be, uh, you need to have a bit of, uh, you know, the heat conductive, uh, whatever it's called, on there. Then afterwards, uh, I've got one of these, and these are really cheap, these are like watchmaker, uh, Watchmaker lenses that go over your eyes. I think I bought these for about a pound from China, delivered. And once you've actually got this mounted on here, you can actually set this on and actually get a focal point to actually focus the lens up exactly right. And they work really well. So it kind of ends up a bit like a bit like this when it's kind of finished. So there you actually have your light module. So you've got your red, your green, and the blue, and a common. And you've got some power there and actually go to the, uh, the motor itself. So then we go on to the actual moving mirror. So there's only really two parts, and that's the the uh, the x-axis movement and the y-axis movement. Well, I managed to get hold of some very small stepper motors, reasonably small stepper motors that can be driven at very low current. And I use this for the for the pan axis. And uh, I've used some some very small, very very cheap um, stepper motors for the uh, for the for the tilt axis. And a very Heath Robinson mechanism of actually connecting the two together but it works so there we have the two obviously the the one on the bottom here for the pan needs to be a lot stronger than the one on the tilt the tilt's only got to move the mirror whereas the one on the bottom there for the pan has got to move both the mirror and all the mechanism and the other motor so that's why I did it that way around it keeps it nice and cheap the mirror was very very cheap I think I bought that for about a pound as well so so far we've accumulated about seven pounds seven six seven English pounds on those parts uh, then I made myself a little PCB. The PCB is quite straightforward. Got a bit of DMX coming in. I've got one microprocessor chip which will actually decode the DMX coming in, and then we've got to turn that into red, green, and blue PWM outputs, which then go to the uh, the, the LEDs, uh, which I've driven through some uh, through some uh, some tra some transistors. And there's also on the board there is um, another chip that uh, steps up the the uh, the current from the from the microprocessor to actually drive directly drive the stepper motors uh, and also over the back here I do have a little dip a uh, little dip push thing to actually set the the channel uh, of what uh, what channel we're actually on at the moment so uh, I haven't quite put it together yet but uh, I'm making four of these um, but just to give you an indication there's uh, there's our there's a light I've actually got a little mixing desk over here for this kind of thing so um, that's our brightness, um, and then we got uh, going through the various colours. That goes to sort of like a reddy purple, green, orange, and then there's a red again, and it kind of goes up through the spectrum. Spectrum. Uh, I think I did a sort of like an HSV to RGB conversion bit of software, and the uh, and the pan with the tilt. There's the there's the tilt working. Actually, need to get that in a slightly better place. Let's put it over there. To give you an idea. So there we go. So we've got that all working there. Right? Yeah. And there we have that. So once the two are aligned together, pointing that at this, uh, obviously the the uh, the light will come down directly over the top, and we'll be able to fire it out. And it's going to be tiny. Very very simple, very straightforward, very low current, and you get some pretty good power out of these sort of 10 watt things. Um, you know, if you can imagine, uh, quite a lot of the, the scanners and things at the moment. They're, they're, they're kind of like similar, similar in power. Uh, this actually produces uh, a very strange kind of effect on the ceiling. I mean, I've got that in focus, as you can see. Um, and there we go, change that to red. We've got a little ring around the outside, which is actually what, what it, it looks like on top of the, the actual LED module itself. Um, and I thought that was going to be horrible because uh, it would be something else to focus up. But actually, when it turns out, it actually looks quite nice when you've actually got that going through some fog. So, uh, so, so there we have it, and that's the uh, the project for for me. Make four of these. Happy New Year.